I'm Dave Epstein, this is Growing Wisdom, and this is not a video about dead plants. It's a video about what not to do. So I'm in front of one of my blue hydrangeas, and boy, you can see all the flowers it had last year. Just absolutely spectacular, a lot of wonderful flowers. And the issue is, is that this time of year, some of you may look at this and start cutting it back. Don't, stop, wait. The blossoms for next year are already on it. So if you look closely here, you can see that that bud is the flower blossom for next year. This particular hydrangea blooms on what we call older wood. I like to wait until mid-May or early June. There will be some dieback. At that point, you can take off some of the dead wood, but don't do it any earlier than that, because if you do it earlier, you may prune off some of the bloom buds for the following year. Now the paniculata hydrangeas, which my neighbor has, that one you can prune because it blooms on new wood. In other words, it will grow next spring. The flowers for next spring will come out next spring. So pruning it isn't going to take off any buds. This one, don't prune it. You may prune off the bloom buds for the following year. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps around the garden here at Growing Wisdom.